In this video, we are going to talk about lipids. Here is an overview of the four basic groups of lipids, triglycerides, phospholipids, steroids, and waxes. Lipids are a group of hydrophobic bimolecules. The Latin word hydrophobic consists of two prefixes. Hydro means water, phobic means fear of. So, water and lipids don't mix. We can notice if we put some oil in a beaker of water and start the steering for several minutes or even for several hours. Water and oil would still separate from each other. The first category we are going to show you is triglycerides. They contain two types of subunit molecules, glycerol and three fatty acids. The fatty acids can be saturated and unsaturated. The saturated fatty acids have single carbon bond. Animals fat have saturated fatty acid and they are solid at room temperature. The unsaturated fatty acids have one to several double bonds. Vegetable oils have one or more double bonds. The second category of lipids is phospholipids. They are similar to triglycerides. They contain glycerol and two fatty acids. The difference between them is that phosphate group rather than a third fatty acid is attached to the third carbon of glycerol. The phosphate heads are hydrophilic or water loving. The phosphate tails are hydrophobic or water hating. So, phospholipids tend to arrange themselves so that only the hydrophilic heads interact with the watery environment and the hydrophobic tails crowd inward away from the water. This structure is the major component of plasma membranes of the cell. The third category of lipids is steroids. They are composed of four fused rings of carbon. One well-known steroid molecule is cholesterol. Cholesterol serves as precursor for the synthesis of other steroids, as testosterone, estrogen, vitamin D, and cortisone. The hormones testosterone and estrogen have small differences in their functional groups, but large differences on their effects on organisms. Last but not least, waxes. They are the fourth category of lipids. They are nonpolar. They are found in the protective coating on leaves and on outer surfaces of animals. It's produced in the ears of some animals to protect the eardrum. Also, bees construct honeycombs from wax. Now, we have covered all four categories of lipids. Finally, I'm going to tell you the main functions of lipids. They are long-term energy storage. They are protection, insulation, lubrication, acts as hormone precursors, and they are a key component of cell membranes.